Hi there. Let's have a look at a tricky AS micro multiple choice question, which asks students to analyze the burden of an indirect tax in the market. Here's the question. The diagram below shows the market demand and supply curves and the market equilibrium, both before and after an indirect tax has been applied to the good. Here's our diagram. And our question is, according to the diagram, the revenue the government collects from the tax is what level? Notice if we go back to the diagram, there's been an inward shift of supply. It's been a specific tax per unit because there's been a parallel inward shift of supply. The market equilibrium price has gone up from £22 to £30. So the price has gone up by £8, but that's not actually the level of the tax. We'll come back to that in a second. Very quickly, I just want to take you through a bit of revision on indirect taxes. So an indirect tax increases the costs of producers, causes an inward shift of supply. The tax is the vertical distance between supply curves. And in our example here, supply demand is fairly elastic and the price goes up from P1 to P2. So that's paid for by the consumer. However, the, the total amount of tax is the vertical distance, this distance here between the two supply curves. That's always the same if it's a specific tax, the vertical distance between supply. So although the consumer is paying the increased price bit, the producer is having to absorb most of the tax when demand is elastic. If I then put an inelastic demand curve, here's our tax per unit vertical distance between the supply curves. The consumer is paying most of the tax here. There's the vertical distance. The producer absorbs a little bit and they have to pay a small percentage of the tax. The key thing for this question is that the tax per unit is the vertical distance between the two supply curves. Let's go back to our question. So here's the tax per unit. That's the vertical distance between the two supply curves. And so you can see that the tax actually is £10 per unit. The price has gone up by eight. So the consumer is paying this bit and the producer has to absorb £2. Has to absorb £2 of the £10 tax. This is going to help us answer the question. So how much revenue does the government collect in tax? Well, total tax revenue is tax per unit multiplied by the equilibrium quantity. The tax per unit is £10 and the equilibrium quantity after the tax is 10 units. So this example, tax revenue is £10 per unit times by 10,000 units, £100,000, which gives the correct answer C. Just a couple of uh, comments on the incorrect answers. Uh, B is incorrect, £200,000 is the to total revenue to the producer because they'll be selling at 30, but of course they only keep 20 because of the tax. And they'll be selling 10,000 units at 20. Like this is over here is their revenue, their total revenue. So B is wrong. Uh, a is just nonsense. Okay, it's just the total amount spent by the by the consumers, but some of that's tax, of course. And D is wrong. Uh, 80,000 pounds is actually the tax paid by the consumer. Don't forget they're paying eight pounds extra buying 10,000 units. So this is the this is the consumer burden of the tax. The correct answer is C, 100,000 pounds because the tax per unit is £10 and 10,000 quantity is bought and sold in equilibrium. There we go, that's a little tricky question on the burden of an indirect tax.